which uh, it takes uh, time and sometimes it's uh, it's a uh, train on on us on us yes thank you Tariq shukran um tantala magrib sayba basef it's so hard but uh you're absolutely right it's going to take time uh tayajivani Yes. Oh, they're not burnt. Okay, perfect. watch a movie with him yes but let him sleep he needs he needs to sleep okay and eat popcorn JJ can't eat popcorn mighty so he has his baby snacks but not popcorn okay let him sleep y'all just wait be patient they don't ever want their brother to sleep like let me tell y'all my daughters they wake up at 5 30 in the morning like Mom, is JJ asleep? Yes, he is asleep. You know what, to be honest, I wake up around 5.30 every day anyway. Sometimes I even wake up at 4.30, but I'm still not really up, you know what I mean? Like, I'm up meditating, but I'm still like in the bed. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm up scrolling through my phone, but I'm still in the bed. Like, I'm not up, up. So yeah, like my daughters wake up Early in the morning, the first thing on their mind is, can we play with JJ? I mean, I understand, it's a new baby in the house and... And this is the finished product. Oh my gosh, y'all, 15 hours later, blisters and calluses. Yes, this is my desk. I have to decorate, obviously, and get all my stuff and... So yeah, it's like... It's perfect, it's like by the window. I haven't put this cabinet in, so I'm just waiting because I don't really know how to do this cabinet thing. That was too difficult. So I'll fix that or figure it out. But yeah, I'm thinking of putting like a printer here for like my scanning or whatever, printing. And um, I also have space over here for something else. I don't know, file cabinets if I need more. But the chair will go there and get like a little mat for the floor. I have so much space. I got a desk. I got a desk. And I did it myself. Ah! <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just excited. Because this took a lot of work to put together. Have you guys ever seen me wear glasses? I don't think you have. But yes, I have glasses that I wear. This is my smart look. You guys don't understand, I never put stuff together. Like, this is a man's job as far as I'm concerned. I don't put together beds, I don't do dressers, I don't do bookshelves, nothing I ever put together. That's something I always have men do. So, this is a big accomplishment for me. I'm actually quite proud of myself. This is a sign of my determination. I don't do labor, stuff like that. So the fact that I even put this together is like, okay, you know I'm determined. I was like, I'm gonna do this for myself. This is my law study desk and it's gonna get done. Get ready to practice with some language partners for like maybe 10 minutes. So guys, this is how I literally practice languages. <laughs> I know, baby. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, JV. Hello. 
Delatifa. <laughs> I don't know. I'm learning how to pronounce these names. Like, it's so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have 582. <laughs> guys, I just don't want you guys to think I'm being dramatic. 582 messages. You guys see that? Even though majority are from Morocco, now I'm starting to get people from Afghanistan, Iraq, Egypt, like all over the place. Okay, well I have to get back to them because I'm, okay, let's see. I have, to, and I have to scroll through all these messages to find my favorite people to practice with. It's this one language partner. He's a cardiologist and um, he's really fun. So I really do like chatting with him. So the thing about here on Hello Talk, one thing I really do love about this is in certain countries, like especially now that I've tapped over into like the Arabic language and stuff. So now I'm attracting so many new um, people on this app who are following me and stuff. And the thing about it is the ones who speak really good English, they have really good jobs in their country. This one lady on here, she lives in Morocco and she works in the embassy. And her and I have been like chatting back and forth. Okay, there's my friend, a cardiologist. There's the embassy lady. I'm trying to scroll down to find, there was someone else I was chatting with. No, uh, in the new language, uh, it takes uh, time. And sometimes it's, uh, it's uh, trying on, on us, on us, yes. Thank you, Tariq, shukran. Um, <laughs> it's so hard, but uh, you're absolutely right. It's going to take time. Uh, I love learning languages. Shukran. Thanks for being willing to help me daily and practice with me. And I will talk to you soon, friend. How do I say my friend in Moroccan Arabic? In Darija. She's from Morocco too. Um, she's very kind. Like I've been chatting back and forth with her. She's been to the United States a few times and um, yeah, we're scheduled to have a Skype call with each other. So hopefully we can video chat soon. I'm sorry for my language. I'm not good enough in English. So. Your English is amazing. So how is the weather there in Morocco? And see, like sometimes when I say phrases that I don't know how to actually translate or interpret, I would just write it down. Like for example, how is the weather in Morocco? I'm not sure how to ask that question yet. So this is something I need to put on a flashcard and ask my tutor about tomorrow morning. How is the weather? in Morocco. This is the perfect way for people to like learn languages. You have to practice speaking because that's the only way that you're going to realize what it is you don't know, things that are important that you need to say day to day. And so whenever you talk to your teacher or tutor, make sure you ask them, how do I say this phrase? How do I express this? How is this interpreted? How do you say it, etc.? cetera. Um, and also the different ways to say it. Apple grapes, um, cheese. I'm not gonna eat the cheese. You know what? I'm grateful for this app. This company reached out to me years ago and sponsored one of my videos, and um, I'm happy to always work with them. When I initially started learning Moroccan Arabic, it was for a reason. It was a very specific reason, and um, that reason is no longer why I'm learning Moroccan Arabic. <laughs> I've made a lot of friends on here now and also um, learning different languages allows you to connect with different people around the world and the thing about it is I've always been drawn to learn different languages different cultures things like that and now it's all finally making sense in my life when I dealt with immigration years ago um, that's when I discovered my love for immigration law and now fast forward I'm getting ready to enter into law school and with the focus of immigration and um, 
So basically I'm saying that to say this type of stuff is really good for me to practice different languages and stuff like that because all it does is open my window of opportunity when it comes to clients that I'll have like in the future. Just look how quick I got 586. Hold on, let me refresh. I have 602 <laughs> messages on Hello Talk. And this is just from two days ago. Two days ago, I switched my language from German to Moroccan Arabic on this app. And so when I put my status, I put a picture of myself and I put, hello everyone, I'm Amber. Um, I am interested in Moroccan culture and language and I would like to connect with you all to correct me on my daily journals, my speaking, etc. Two days later, 602 messages. 602 messages. 602 and majority of them are from Morocco maybe like 20% is from other places but this is really amazing like the power of the internet is so strong something really interesting about the Moroccan language is it's a mixture of Arabic French and Spanish so most Moroccan people speak fluent French obviously native Arabic but they combine it. it's like it's a mixture and um, what else and a lot of them can speak spanish so interesting enough i had met someone from morocco he's probably gonna watch this video uh, <laughs> i met someone from morocco and he um was so interesting to me because he spoke all these languages and i was just like oh my god he's a unicorn because he's fluent like he literally fluently can speak spanish better than me <laughs> he speaks french obviously natively and Arabic and because he's from Morocco he speaks a mixture of all these languages so anyways now that I've made so many Moroccan friends I've learned that a lot of Moroccans actually speak like four or five six languages this is common over there initially I was only learning because of someone specific now I'm like all in like they got my attention I'm full-blown all in because I'm learning about the culture, the people, the religion. It's so beautiful just to learn. You know, I really love learning with an open mind. And when I tell you guys, Moroccan Arabic sounds so romantic. <laughs> it's like, because it's a mixture of French, Arabic, and Spanish. It's so freaking romantic. Like, it just sounds like, I just love the way that they talk because I speak Spanish fluently and Arabic has always sound a little harsh. I don't know, but when I hear Moroccan speak, it's like, it just sounds like music to my ears. It's, it's sexy. I don't know what else, I don't know another way to put it. Yeah, so I'm like really grateful. I have gratitude that I tapped into this and I'm learning this language because uh, the people are really kind and I'm making connections over there. I'm making connections with people who work in the freaking embassy in Morocco. Just like what? Like come on, this is so cool. So I'm excited guys. I really, I like this. I'm excited. I'm excited about law school. I'm excited about Moroccan Arabic. I'm hyped. Right now it's about 7.20 something in the morning. So I am getting ready to go into Walmart. You guys know my favorite place. <laughs> Today is going to be a very busy day. Hoy yo estoy super ocupada porque yo tengo mucha cosa que hacer. Walmart today, Pilates class. Yes, I'm wearing makeup to Pilates. But to be fair, I have a doctor appointment today. So I need to go to Office Depot, print some documents, and then go to the bank to get them notarized. And then after the bank, um, what else am I going after? Oh, I have to go to Korean supermarket. Um, so I have a lot of stuff to do today. De verdad. Yo tengo muchas cosas que hacer hoy. Ahora mismo yo estoy aquí en Walmart. Y después Walmart tengo que ir a clase de Pilates. Y después eso yo voy a ir a Office Depot para imprimir alguna cosa. Después eso tengo que ir al banco. Y después el banco yo tengo que ir al supermercado para comprar licor coreano para mi cumpleaños. Y bueno, mi cumpleaños es este fin de semana, 3 de julio. Y yo sé que ustedes, muchos de ustedes vienen mi fiesta esta semana y estoy super feliz si sí, si sí, si sí. so anyways i hope you guys enjoy um 
so yeah today's a pretty busy day and as you guys know <laughs> i put that whole desk together for school so oh my goodness do you guys know the youtuber nika flow um the nicaraguan my friend who's nicaraguan and uh, his wife shahada so they're coming they're flying into town too so they're going to be at my party and um another youtuber chanel adams from nueva york miss trinidad ella viene tambien so it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of fun we're trying to get bilingue vlogs to come he texted me and said he's gonna try to come also you guys like my gallon of water jug i'm trying to drink more water and so i like how it has these times on it to kind of keep me focused you know this max I like this chair except for I don't like that it's green so he said he has it in black so I was trying to decide between let me show you guys this chair but it doesn't have any arm rails so I decided this chair because it sits up very straight and it supports my back and it has like the armrest and I'm like so ready to start my classes and study and everything. These chairs are, look at this. This is the one I like, but geez, look at that price. $450 for a chair. So guys, this is actually like my dream desk. I love glass desks, but um, I need a bigger space for something like this, you know? When we get into a house, then I'll get my glass desk. Okay, I'm going to the front to go pay. Ahora tengo que pagar. So I just got back home just in time for a student. Right now I have a class. So if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know, but I tutor professionals in Spanish. So like I have uh, doctors, mostly doctors that I'm tutoring and then I have a few nurses and a lot of police officers. <laughs> so um, they just usually book through my website and I do 20 minute sessions with them Monday through Friday. So my students are getting uh, daily practice in. So we usually just role play in different topics each day. So for example, my student now, we're getting ready to role play in the supermarket. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien, ¿cómo estás? Like, I've been waiting for this package. Oops, let me turn this music off. Hey, these are all my packages. Guys, I absolutely love shopping with um, Shein. <laughs> this is like my favorite store and I'm not being sponsored. So, this is the stuff I got, y'all. Okay, let's see. So, this is, I couldn't wait for this dress to come because I think I'm going to change into this dress on the boat. Um, I really don't like my arms being out. <laughs> so, but yeah. That's that dress. I got this silk pajama set. Um, this is just like loungewear, just to wear around the house. I thought this was so cute. This actually comes with this little belt, so it, it gets tight around here. It's all prommy, you know? I got some mask that came. Even though here in Atlanta, we don't have to wear masks anymore. And then I have this cute pink dress. And I have this cute, pink um oh my gosh i forgot english bolsa purse thank you you always trying to be in a vlog what do you want to say um and i want to say i want to make my own youtube video of singing Ciela wants to be a singer you all so she wants to <laughs> you know what makes a girl really happy shopping i usually don't like people knowing what i'm buying and stuff so i hide packages do you guys do that i go to the store and i get more stuff than i need i'll like put the packages in my trunk and it'll sit there for days if i'm afraid to like bring it in the house if you know what i mean <laughs> so let me show you guys the liquor i got for my birthday party like i don't really drink if that makes sense i like sweet stuff so don't judge me i don't really know what to get I didn't get the hardcore liquor yet, but I just got like the main little sweet stuff that I like. Mari, Mari, so you wanna say hi? Hi. Mari don't be feeling it. She's like, I don't want nothing to do with this. <laughs> okay, uh, this, so this is what I got, guys. I got, I love 
sangria. So I got some sweet sangria wine. Um, ready to serve margaritas. So I got the strawberry, watermelon, peach, um, and I have like the sweet wine. This is pretty good. Red wine and um, California Chardonnay. And of course I got pina colada because we're gonna do mixed drinks on a boat too. This right here, dun 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 dun. $79. This one bottle cost $79 at Walmart. He said this was their most expensive one. And this is a brand of Chardonnay, Napa Valley. And he was like, you have to get this. People will be impressed. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe because I'm not a drinker, I'm unaware of how much people pay for drinks. But I'm just like, $79 for a glass of wine. Okay, so why are the other two glasses 15 each and this one's 79? I don't get it. I mean, I didn't use my card to pay for any of this. So, <laughs> I mean, but still, I got it because it's my birthday. I'm like, okay, that'll be the wine I use to toast. Comment below, do you guys spend a lot of money on wine? Why is it that these two bottles are 12 to $15 a bottle and this one is $79 a bottle? Like, what's the difference? Comment below. And also, I got some beer for the guys that's coming. It's not too many men that are coming, but you know. My hair is looking a mess, y'all. But yeah, so um, I need to still get like vodka, um, Ciroc, you know, hardcore liquor for people who wanna take shots and stuff like that. I'm sure some people might want that type of stuff, mixing their drinks and things, so. I hired a bartender that's gonna be on the boat with us. There are a few people who canceled, so I still do have some spots open, but so far it should only be about maybe 20, I wanna say like 25 of us, but that leaves me with like five or six more spots open. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested in coming to hang out with me for my party, it's limited space. I know for sure it's like 12 to 15 people that's coming out of town, like six people out of New York alone, two people from Detroit, two people are coming from Texas, uh, one from Dominican Republic, I'm sorry, two from Dominican Republic. Um, yeah, just to spend my dirty 30 with me. So I do plan on vlogging. But again, if you're in Atlanta and you're a follower or a subscriber of mine, feel free to come. Just email me at amigonzalez at gmail.com and um, so that you can RSVP and I'll save your spot. 30, 30, 30. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to watch a Korean drama and um, study some Arabic with my new Arabic partners. <sighs> I have so many friends now. Um, where are you from? Are you American or Moroccan? Come on, you, you're speaking Moroccan Arabic. This is so funny. This guy, he's like, are you American or Moroccan or what? <laughs> Guys, my accent is not that good. Like I just start learning Moroccan Arabic. I've been speaking for now three weeks. But um, this is the message I had sent to him. You guys gotta get Hello Talk. Like this helps you to practice different languages with natives. It's amazing and it's free. Okay, this is what I sent to him first. Yes! Oh my God, my pronunciation is getting better.